We started planting corn. There was a small window there where we could plant some corn, but we didn't finish it. Before we finished planting corn, it, it, we got another six inch rain. That stopped us from planting for a long time, that big rain that we had. So by the time it dried up enough to plant again, it was too late for corn. John Malazzo farms in Burleson County and says he had to convert some corn acres. That was one of the decisions I had to make was do I abandon this and call it prevented planting or do I change crops? Well, we, we decided to go ahead and plant cotton. So we have very little corn compared to what we usually do. A lot more cotton than compared to what we usually do. And the cotton crop is a lot later because of the rains that we had. Malazzo says it's hard to estimate what corn yields will be. Corn that was in the upper end of the field looks pretty good, but corn in the lower end stood in water. The water doesn't have to be over the top of the crop for the crop to drown. If, if it covers the ground, the water covers the ground, your roots are not getting any oxygen and, and it just literally starves to death. And uh, that's why I think you see some of this corn that matured out at a very uh, short uh, height. And this year, Malazzo's seen something he's never seen before. A lot of this corn that was water stressed has put out an ear on the very bottom of the stalk. The ear is less than a foot from the ground. And I've never seen that. Most of the time that ear forms about uh, on a, say the eighth or ninth uh, node, which is usually about uh, shirt pocket high. And this year we're gonna have to put our headers all the way on the ground to be able to get all of our ears. I'm Shell Winkley looking at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is sponsored by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.